with a lot of heavy lifting, you come out with an amazing looking project that's worthy of your time. Now we're gonna use PL3, put a little dab of glue on that. And it doesn't have to be perfect because again, these are pavers and you're outside. So this is how you do it. You basically hit it on the edge. There you go. And make sure you check out our interactive flipbook where you find tools and renovation gadgets for any job you may have. Look in the description for the link. Alright, I'm going to show you real quickly how to cut pavers. So grab yourself a garbage bag, cut a hole here for your neck, put this over uh, your body. That way you're not going to get crap all over yourself. And some protective eye gear as well. Next thing, grab the piece that's going to be cut and then we mark out where. Flip this around so you can have it on both sides. And then use the peel glue to apply it on top here, on the deck. And as long as there's enough of a blob, uh, then it's all gonna fit like this. This is dried overnight. We're using a basic four inch Ryobi with a diamond blade. Whatever you buy for 40 bucks, it can do just fine. This has lasted me for the last four years. I've been cutting pretty much every single project with this, so it's good. First you want to floor it. So as you can see, it creates tons and tons of dust. So we score this side, now we flip it around, score the other side, and then crack it. Note that I also cut right here, just a bit on this side, and on this side. And now, you basically hit it on the edge. There you go. And pretty clean, so now I'm gonna try this for test fitment. And if it's too big, I'll just trim it a little bit. There we go. So does it look big? I think on this side it could use just a little touch up, but let's see. But so you know what? Actually, it's pretty good. Yeah, and if you look down here, pretty straight. And it doesn't have to be perfect because again, these are pavers and you're outside. So this is how you do it. Now we're gonna use PL3, put a little dab of glue on that. We're gonna take this out. So we're just gonna put two dabs here, and we're gonna put one down here, and one here. And then the rest is gonna go here, and about here, which is the end. These papers are heavy, so they're not gonna move, but it's always nice to have something. We put this on, right? Just kind of, if you're going to use a metal hammer, do it gently because this will chip. So get a metal, or sorry, a rubber hammer. There we go. Let's see if that aligns. It aligns. You can see that the glue's already holding. And now we put a little right here. And I've done pavers with this in the Canadian harsh winter. And it's definitely held up. Nothing has come undone, I'm glad to say. Just for it to catch. And that's it. Always watch out with PL3 because this always keeps coming out. And then once it gets somewhere, you cannot get it out. And now we're gonna grab this one and then we're gonna place it right into place. And of course, we need to make sure that there's no lip. I mean, you could have a lip if you wanted to, if that's the look you're going for, but we're not gonna have a lip. Ugh. So then you just kind of push it until it all lines up. And that's it. I'm also going to probably extend the deck and create some sort of a section right over here. Probably have to build out a foundation for the deck and then I'm gonna follow with these stones as well and I'm gonna have that there. I mean, I could always turn that into a fire pit, but uh, we have the fire pit there, so we probably won't need to. With a lot of heavy lifting, you come out with an amazing looking project that's worthy of your time smash that bell to get notified of other videos and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching if you like the video you know what to do 